Okay. That's moving a lot more smoothly for me. Now, is it, um... Okay, one second. Before you... I want to hear that piece of advice, but before you give it to me, um, is that, uh, let me see if I can go find some place with text on it. Actually, I'll just do this. Is that readable for you guys? In this resolution, is that readable? That note? Okay, alright, well then I'm going to do that, because this is probably a good balance between, um, between those two things. Okay, so, what's my... What's your piece of advice, and then the explanation? Cool, awesome. Alright, so what's the piece of advice... And also, is my audio okay? I hope. I pray that's not a problem. Is my audio, is my audio fine? <laughs> Slander. Is my audio okay, or no? Okay. Alright, so Mano, what's your piece of advice and uh, your explanation before I head off to go kill this priest guy? Awesome answer. Yeah, no, I didn't expect it to be perfect, but I want to balance it between it being relatively smooth, like this scrolling. You know, so that's basically the idea. I'm going to run around and look at the rest of the town while you explain to me what the deal is. <laughs> Just a small town boy. Uh, magic power available means how much of the magic you can get out of that item. Um, meaning what? Like how much you can drain from it or something? Yeah, but I'm not following. Like, what what am I doing with the magic? Like, what does that mean? Am I using it to power something else? Or, like... I see. But that's not going to apply as much to me because most of the time I'm going to be going... I mean, I'm not going to like exclusively do so, but I'm going to be going more tech than magic anyway, so that's not as big a deal for me, right? He said, questioningly. Right, right. Right, I, so far I don't really think I've encountered a lot of magic items. Um, I think basically all I've encountered so far is just, uh, I mean, like, that I would be using. I've been doing more on sort of the tech side. But... Okay. But that's still, though, that's good to keep in mind, though. I mean, that's that's good information to have. Oh, that must be the mine. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> you were taking notes, my friend, as you were watching. I hope I didn't embarrass you too much as being such, a, such an arcanum noob. Which I fully admit to being. Yeah, no, he certainly was. Hey, Zyron, what's up, man? Um, hey, man, I have a question for you. Is there a zoom-in function on this? On the, uh, on the world map? Yeah, I don't know where... I don't know why I'm not seeing it. 
I mean, there's a scroll map function, but that doesn't seem to make a difference. Um... Yeah, I know. I, you know what, Zyron? I was just doing that. Do you know how much I've been trying to do mouse scroll on this? It's like, nope, new game. What's up, Cajun? Um, it only zooms in when you can use it. Okay, well, the thing is I'm trying to get to... I don't remember where the map is that shows this. Okay. But I know before that I popped up a map. I don't know how I did it. But I popped up a map where, um, uh, where it had the place to get to the priest's thing. So I know I popped that up someplace. Oh, wait a minute, I see what you're saying. So, in other words, I'm supposed... You want me... Like, if I leave the town, in other words, you're saying? Then, that, then that'll be an option? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, gotcha. Okay, I will do that in a moment, then. Gotcha, okay. I'm gonna go there in a second. I am, first of all, going to head up to around this area. Pretty sure this is the mine. That's that deserted mine, which I'll eventually need to go back to. Um, but just so I can get them listed on my map, I'm going to run past the houses. Like, what's his face lives here somewhere? Percival, or whatever the hell his name is. Hello, pigs. Aha! What is in this barrel? What have we got? More fertilizer. Liquid soap. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that, Mano? When I, like, challenge Rosette, and then he's like, really? And then he, what the fuck, pwned me? And I was like, wow, the rapier? Really, man? That's what it's about? Why you gotta play me like that, dog? Um... Mano, last question. Does doing this have an effect on my... Like, if I take this Tom's fertilizer, am I going to run into a guy, theoretically, later on? Yeah, that's what I noticed. <laughs> but it, So later, if I attack some guy, or rather, if I run into a guy later on who theoretically owns this fertilizer, is he going to know the deal and be like, what are you doing with my liquid soap and fertilizer? You know what I'm saying? Although, actually, I don't think I'm going to take this fertilizer now that I think of it, but just theoretically... Like, if I took this liquid soap, is that going to be a problem? Oh, okay. Well, then the liquid soap, then. Like, the point is, if I take it from, like, a guy's chest or something... Okay, well then. There we go. I think I'll leave the fertilizer. Although, I bet I'll be able to use it for explosives, but... Oh, I almost forgot this rubbish bin. Look at that, I would have messed this. That's right, folks. It's worn shoes. Just what I always wanted. And, of course, a rag. God, this is such an early RPG take. <laughs> the beginning of the game. Take everything. Look, I have rags. Finally, I have rags. I've always wanted rags. Shoes. Glorious shoes. So now I have damage resistance. Oh, really? I'm all about the exploits. So now I have damage resistance plus one to go along with my suit. I really, I'm making myself into James Bond. You all realize that, right? Like, I'm totally making myself into that. I'm actually going to start doing the theme as I walk around. dun 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 I'm going to kill Rizet. I'm going to take out that bastard. And stop him from doing those markups. Cause I hate that bastard. Where's the FEC when you need them? Hmm, 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 hmm. Da 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 da. I feel like I'm being followed by Lurch. Like, I've got me and Virgil, and then Lurch is like, yeah, d no, Zyron, totally. Like, the like the actual part of the game, like the evil one and all that stuff is now, is, I don't give a damn about that. Now it's just about vengeance against Rosette. That rat bastard.
Because you saw it, Zyron. You saw it, man. You saw what he did to me. Not only did he kill me, but he did so after he was acting like an arrogant jackass. And after I sold him a grenade for 300 and he freaking upped it to like 2,000 something. I'm going to go into the herbalist and see what the deal is. Hello, herbalist. What could a human possibly want with me? Well, I'm looking for work, for one thing. The town is small. My needs are few. There's nothing I need an outsider to do for me. You appear a traveler. Tell me, do you wander far? It depends on what room I'm in at what time, lady. No. Um, I'm new to this land, but I suspect my travels will take me far. Well then, if in your wanderings you happen to come across an elven amulet engraved with the name Entala upon its face, I would ask that you return it to me. It's an old heirloom, family heirloom stolen a generation ago. Where do you think it may be, my lady? I have not the slightest inkling of its whereabouts. I cannot fathom why I have even told you of it. Perhaps these many years have confused my mind. Well, no matter. If you do happen upon it, I reward you handsomely. Now, is there anything more I can do for you? Yes, what do you have for trading? Would you like me to sell you anything? For example, I have some valuable things. Wait, this is a ginkgo root. You're an herbalist. Why would you not want a ginkgo root? Perhaps you misunderstood. This is ginkgo root. Ginkgo root. No? What about liquid soap? What about this rag? This is an awesome rag. How many times do you get a rag this good? What, dynamite? How about wine? Oh! You're interested in wine. Yeah, I know, Zyron, right? Like, his markup is just out of control. Yeah, I was kind of getting that impression, uh, man. I'll, I'll probably figure out which is which sooner rather than later. Only got 55. Mano, what is this? This number that I've got my arrow over right now? Below the, between the gold and the bullets? What is that 15 number? Oh, a schematic. Fortifier. Fuel. Okay, that's good to know. Arrows. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Well, you've been utterly useless. If I find your magic amulet, we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I think I've opened up more of the town. Haven't I? Yes. I haven't actually gone to the city hall yet, which I guess I ought to do before I leave. Yeah, it's true. Although, according to, um, according to Mano, actually, I just realized I was in a shop and I forgot to ask him. He says there is a button, a max button. Um, maybe this guy has something I can buy. And I can just check it out. Hey, what? Oh, what is your name, sir? I'm called Doc Roberts in these parts. Who might you be? I'm Arvin Elrond. Well, Arvin Elrond, if there's nothing else, I'll be thanking you to get along. Hmm. Is there any work to be had around here? There might be something if you don't mind putting your hide in danger's way. I'm not averse to a bit of danger, provided the pay is right. Yep. Word has reached me the Bowen gang's coming in to rob the bank. Too bad for them that my money happens to be in there, too. I need I need a swear engine from Deadwood here. Why are you effing telling me this? I'm going to effing kill them. Okay. So what do you need me for? I could use someone to watch my back, and there ain't no one worth their salt in this town. Sounds intriguing. What will you pay for my help, good sir? Well, it all depends, Arvin Eleron. Do you fancy yourself a magicker or a scientician? Ah, interesting. Hmm, do I say partial the ways of technology? No, I'm not walking in the middle ground, let's be fair. Ways of technology. I have a finely made pistol I could let you have afterwards were you to mack me up when the trouble starts. Intrigued. Meet me in front of the bank tomorrow. I'll be keeping an eye out for the trouble to start. When it does, I'll expect you by my side. Alright, I'll see you there then. 
But first, I want to... I told you to meet me outside the bank. Okay. Oh, he started? Okay, I'll head over in a little bit. Thanks, Etra. All right. Take a look at that metal can. Oh ho ho! Yes, sir. Revolver parts, a broken flintlock pistol, more shoes. Yes, moderately encumbered. An engine muffler, a metal can, because you know, a rusty dagger, another liquid soap, and another rag. Alright, well, the bank is pretty close, I think. Double check this journal. Stop an impending bank robbery, yep. Bank's right... Bank's right there. Alright, let's head over to this place. on you guys uh-huh excuse me sir but I couldn't help but overhear you telling the good constable that you were the sole survivor of the Ivis Sefer is that true <sighs> I'm afraid that one of these guys is gonna do a little assassination deal thank heavens there were survivors did the others come here as well what were they where are they staying there are no survivors I was the only one are you sure? My older brother, who's on the blimp. A gnomish gentleman of some years. Did you happen to see him, sir? What did you say your name was? Radcliffe, William Radcliffe. My brother's name was Preston. Did you know him, sir? Perhaps he's at the crash site even now alive. No, I spoke with your brother. He died shortly after. I'm sorry. No, not Preston. Hmm. I see. It was his, a family heirloom. Even in death, he was thinking of his family first. Um. Oh, boy. Is this the boy he means? He said he escaped from somewhere. Yes, well, Preston was getting on in years. Sometimes he had a little trouble remembering exactly where he was. He was overseas receiving treatments. Well, thank you, stranger. I'm sorry. What did you say your name was? I'm sorry. My name is Arvin Elleron. Pleasure to meet you, Arvin Elleron. I'll be staying here in town. I'm sure we'll run into one another again. I'm very, very uncertain about having just done that. I have to be honest, because I feel like... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that that's the guy I'm supposed to be giving the ring to. Um, hmm. Kata wants to know if people are going to be making their own characters for D&D. Um, they can. They can do their own characters if they want. Um, no, Mano. It's okay. Thank you, though. I'm sure I'll find out, but I'll save it in another slot just to be safe. Um... Uh, some people can do their own characters, or they can do pre-gen if they want. Um, we have one more one-off that we're going to be doing, basically one shot, you know, one, more one-shot deal um, that comes with it, after which the campaign is when we'll actually get underway. And I don't, we'll save this under unsure, um, and I don't, uh, I don't think we're going to be playing on Friday because the Avengers thing, so we'll probably be playing a week from Friday, um, is my guess. So you can let them know that, and I'll pop on in TeamSpeak slash his stream in a little bit. Hey, man, oh, here's my... He said he might want to... What? This Friday? What about the Avengers, though?
thought the Avengers was going to cause all these problems. I mean, good hit, sir. That was a little clutch shot right there. What's up with all the rats? Um, he might still want to do it Friday. I thought that. Okay, I'll double check. I thought that. Um, I thought we had been talking last night, and he had suggested that we should probably pass on it because. Oh, level three. We should pass on it because of the, um, uh, the Avengers thing meant a lot of people weren't going to be here. Um, and so we should wait until next week when people are going to be around. So, I'm going to be seeing Avengers myself on Friday, but I'm going to be doing it earlier, so. A lot of people, well, apparently a lot of people slander is what, what the rumor. I heard that a number of people wouldn't be there. I don't mean in the party, like, but just people who would be watching. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be watching it earlier in the day, but... Anyway, I'll pop on later on and see what he says. Um, as far as what level characters, I'll have to check and see when I go over to stream. I don't actually remember right now. I want to say, like, maybe level 3, but I have to double check. Hey, man, I want to confirm something. So when I put points in these skills that I have here... Um, and by the way, people who are checking out the strap, the, um, okay, um, people who are coming in for the first time, welcome into the chat, um, and into the stream, I'm streaming Arcanum, um, and, uh, I'm talking to, yeah, I can't, I'm trying to get a work out something where I'll be able to do a chat overlay, um, so that you can actually see the chat and not just have me talking into the ether, as it were, but in the meantime, um, so I'm getting some help from Mano, who has played this game before. Uh, Mr. Mano 1 specifically. So, um, Mano, the, I, I'm guessing that based on what we talked about before, I should continue to put points in these, like, individual skills, etc., until I can't do it anymore, and that's when I go back over here and start dealing with the overall statistics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, is that basically the way to do it? And thanks, uh, Slander, I appreciate it, but he's helping me out, it's alright. Hmm. Fine revolver or firearms? I'm going to put another point in persuasion. Oh, okay. Tobacco? I don't truck with that. Ooh. Pilgrim's robes. Very nice, very nice. You know what I just realized is I was like, I haven't put shoes on any of my other dudes. So I was kind of stupid. Let's um, get rid of some of these rags, which I'm not going to need. Get a little bit of lag working through it. Um, you now another stun grenade. That's good because those are worth a lot of money. Yeah, perception. Um, is what allows you to, um, I assume, do more damage with it. I guess it's one of the primary skills that's associated with it, I guess. Don't need liquid soap. Let's 
Let's see. I just scored a critical hit, which I think is the first time I've done that with a gun, so something's working. What is it that you want of me? I would like to make a trade with you, sir. I would like to give you something you're gonna like. I think. Robes. AC three, damage resistance plus three, fatigue rate minus five, or fatigue resistance minus five. What? It's the exact same thing? Alright, well, maybe I'll be able to sell it. Alright, we're gonna save it here. What? Fire resistance, really? I perceive this gun and... Hello, amiable dwarf technologist. You like my steam engine? Oh, the steam engine. Yes, I've heard about this. You like my steam engine? It mine. I can keep it clean. It run good. Yes, I see. Very pretty. Yes, yes, it's shiny. See? I like steam. Steam is hot. Makes funny noise. And you say you take care of this thing? I good with machine. I fix good. You like my steam engine? It's shiny. I see. Well, it has been intellectually stimulating, but I must go. So this is the steam engine that the dude wants me, the magician guy wants me to destroy. I like my engine at my friend. <laughs> right. Well, I'm... So the reason that all the rats are excited is because of the steam thing, which is bothering them, I assume. It's like disrupting uh, their basically driving them out of their holes, etc. What? what talking about? There was no chat option to explain to rats. By the way, you meant were his pets. Past tense. Hey, Polar. Damn it, I missed it. Well, I'm sorry that I killed his pets. I'll just have to make do with this steam engine. I got your uh, message, Polar. I'll respond to you um, in a little bit um, when I get over to Cata's stream. All right, it's going to be daytime for in a minute, and I've got a bank robbery to stop. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Alrighty. Let's move ourselves. Let's ease on down to the bank. Which is down over here. Alright, we're about to see how good a tank Mr. Uh, Sog is. So you do not regenerate your health at all in this game unless you sleep or unless you're healed in some other means. Like, it just doesn't come back to you unless you rest. It's interesting. Thanks, Polar. I appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I've managed to optimize it. I've concluded, by the way, that tw uh, that uh, XSplit is the strangest program ever developed because everywhere you read on it, it says, if you do screen capture, you're going to get worse frame rates. You want to use Game Source, blah, 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 blah. Then I use Game Source for Grimrock, and it's fine, except that the audio is bad. And they're like, DX Story is the old version. That's the old way. You don't want DX Story. I use DX Story. Everything works perfectly. It's like, okay. 
Then this game, I'm like, I'll do the same thing. Try DX Story, doesn't work as well, can't get the audio to work. So what do I have to do? Screen region capture. All of a sudden, everyone's like, wow, that's smooth and perfect. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I think streaming has not really arrived as a prime time. Uh, it has arrived as a prime time thing, but it, it's not exactly, the kinks are not worked out yet, you know. And granted, I don't have the greatest computer in the world, but it's not like the worst computer either, so. But I'm glad I got it running. Polar, since I'm waiting, if anyone's wondering what I'm doing here, I'm waiting because there's going to be a bank robbery that I'm supposed to help a guy stop, and if I do it, he's going to give me a cool gun, supposedly. I hope it is a cool gun and not just a gun I could have made myself for make it better, but we'll see. Um, so, Polar, uh, you can pay me via PayPal. I'm an author, and so Polar had asked about getting uh, one of my books. And, uh, oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Um, let's advance time... Skyrim style. Let's advance time four hours. That looks good. Um, so, um, so anyway, what was I talking about? Um, what's this robbery thing? I thought I was supposed to meet him in front of the bank. Um, bank teller, human guard, okay. Um, yeah, exactly. Alright, okay, that's fine. So, um, awesome, Polar. So, uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, you can pay me via PayPal, and um, then uh, if you send me via your Twitch your address, then as soon as I get the money through PayPal, I will immediately ship out um, the book, like, the next day or whatever, and I'll send it to you wherever you are, assuming you're not, like, in Guam or something, in which case we'd have to talk about the shipping cost. But otherwise, I will cover the shipping. So, that's if you want a copy of my book, um, The Third Sign... And if anyone, someone in my chat can link it maybe if they like, um, it's available on my website. And other books are being shopped as we speak. Okay, so that's the answer to your question, Polar, and now I will get back to the game. All right. Come on, guy. It's freaking 8 o'clock. Let's go. I'm here. Let's go, Doc Holiday. Fake version of Doc Holiday. Doc Roberts wants you to help him stop the impending bank robbery. Okay, well, I'm here. I was going to say, does he crawl here? Like, did I somehow blow past the time period? I mean, I got there, I thought, before morning was going to arrive. Like... <laughs> hey, Demiser, what's up? Yeah, that's the way it always works, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I have it saved at night, so if need be, I can just, like, accelerate. You know, I can move it forward a little bit differently. Not slim pickings. Herbalist. Where the hell is the damn... Is it right there? General Practitioner. Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Cool, Polar. Yeah, that's fine. So if you're willing to do that PayPal thing, then as soon as I get that, I will ship it off to Texas with my thanks for your interest. What? The F is this guy? I wonder if I just blew past the time, but it's like... Maybe I shouldn't have gone to 8 in the morning. Maybe by their definition of morning is like 6. Oh, that's... That's him. Okay. What's up, guy? Where you been? I'm ready to throw in.
Wow. Getting owned. Pause, 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 please. How do I actually use uh, a potion? Uh, Mano, how do I use a potion? That's what I thought. Uh, yes I have and I'll answer that in a minute. Suck it. No robbery for you, sir. Hey, where the hell are you going, Doc Roberts? Alright, that worked out. I even got some bullets. Ten bullets. Let me just get this cleared away, Polar, and I'll answer that question. Afraid you lost your human guard, ma'am. What happens when you didn't ride with the best? Specifically, James Bond. Dun 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 Bullets. Got some bullets. Do 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 do. Did it did it. Some bullets. I decided if I'm gonna be James Bond, I might as well just go with it, Demiser. You know, like if he's gonna look this much like him. All right, Doc. I stopped this robbery. So now I want you to pay up with my gun, sir. Where's my gun? I owe you something, don't I? Here you go. And I don't have much experience thanking people, but thanks. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Goodbye. Oh, couldn't pick it up because I was encumbered. I had a feeling. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, with the little blood going down the screen. Okay, let's see. Revolver. Two to nine damage. It's better than what I have. Two to five fatigue damage. Um, to hit is plus three as opposed to plus five. And the range is ten. Aptitude adjustment to chance of critical failure. Hmm. Speed eight. Okay, so it's faster. The only difference is that it's... Uh, is that it's... Um, Got more damage, it's faster, but less range. Yeah, actually, I know, Polar. I'm actually... I, I think I knew that. Alright, well, that's pretty... That's pretty awesome. Whoa. What? I think I accidentally uh, fired that off when it went down. That was not what I intended to do. Everyone, please relax. Uh, nothing to see here. Um, I apologize for any misunderstanding. That was not what I meant to do. I feel like I need to walk very carefully over this way and be like, So, anyone shot? No good. I know, I know. All right, well, I did my first successful side quest. That's pretty cool. And I got a pretty good revolver out of the bargain. And, uh, actually, I don't think I... I didn't lose any bullets. I actually gained bullets. So that's pretty awesome. How'd my guys do? Virgil's fine. Saga's fine. Oh, they're all fine. That was easy. Alright. So now I have to go to the priest and take his sorry stuff out. Yeah, I did. Man, that's where I got, uh, I got 20 bullets out of them. Is there, like, something else I should be getting from them? I think that's all I saw. And actually, the bank teller should be rewarding me. So I'm going to go and say, talk, say to her, hey, you know why you're actually still here? Because of me. Get the armor. Oh, you're right. I haven't been doing this. Damn. Good call, man. I was not even thinking about that. It means I'm going to lose my James Bond effect. Let's see. AC3, damage resistance plus 3, fatigue, or fire resistance plus 2. 
Yeah, so this is clearly much better in every respect. Am I seriously not able to just switch it? Okay, good. The brown armor is the best. I can't believe that I forgot about that, man. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm going to check these other guys, too. That was incredibly dumb that I didn't do that. Thank you for the reminder. Ooh, and look at this. He's got an old revolver. Eh, it's not that good. But it might be worth something. I wish I could... Oh. Well, I guess what I could do is give some of this stuff to, uh... Pack Mule. I mean, Sog. Okay, well then what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to talk to Sog. Hey, Sog. Can we trade, please, Sog? I'm gonna give you some armor, too, sir. Yeah, I had a feeling that it might. So. Okay. Alright. Um. Now. I should be in a better position to be able to take some of their other stuff. Oh goodness, the only problem... Let's see, can I organize this? I think I can. Go up here, please. No, no. Don't play cheeky with me. What? Stop being a little inventory bitch. I'll do it this way if this makes you feel better. this so I can fit in that suit, which I'm probably going to give up again. Don't be a little bitch. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. I, I'm pretty much getting that sense already. I'm taking that only so I can give it to my guy, because I forgot that I could do that and loot them. Polar, all I said was that, um, was thank you for your interest and that, uh, about the book. And I think, uh, I think you heard all the rest of it, and that, that would be cool when we can do that. Alright, time to give you some armor, sir. Yeah, we can do better than rags. What? Yeah, that is, uh, you know, what's interesting about that is that that's utterly not what I said at all. But, um, that's a very, you know, he's got a very good sense of, oh, come on, I want to exchange it. Man, oh, is there some kind of a, uh, some exchange thing? Like, I could just move it over and exchanges it? Please? Is there something I can do that with? <sighs> oh, yeah, Polar, I'll answer that question in one second. Just let me figure out what the hell the deal is with this. Dude, I, I really... Oh, inventory management. Why? Why you got an inventory management? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, just one second. Now, Sog, now can I take this from you? Good. You know what? Just struck me it's not going to fit, is it? Because it's human size. You son of a... 
Hey, Shoei, what's up, man? Well, god damn it. <laughs> uh, not a fan of the inventory management setup here. Um, okay. Well, that's enough for now. I'm going to see about that brown armor. No, no. Ristez is going to have to wait with a little bit more power. But I did stop a bank robbery. So I feel like that puts me money ahead. Um, so, Polar, uh, in answer to your question, I have written... Um, let's see. I have two other novels written, and I'm working on my fourth novel now. The other two novels are being shopped. I'm very close on both of them. I'm very close on one, less close on the other. Um... In terms of um, getting to a publisher, uh, I have a publisher who's very interested in one knock on all kinds of wood. So I'm really hoping for the best um, on that score. I may have some good news on that soon, I hope. Um, and uh, so, yeah. And then I think the only other bit of information... Uh, so that's the... Anyway, those are the, so those are the books. And then I also have a short story coming out in an anthology in August. And a number of articles that are coming out. Um, that have two have come out in the CIFWA Bulletin, um, which is for the Science Fiction Fantasy Writers of America, and then another one coming out soon. So as far as novels, um, yeah, my next novel is uh, hopefully very close. Cross, you know, your fingers, knock on wood. Please send out good vibes my way. I would really appreciate it. Ooh. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Wow, when he throws it, he really throws it. Actually, I just realized there was something else I could have done, but I won't. Oh, hey man, it's a lot better. So Polar, did you uh, did you think crap out again, or did you see? Did you hear what I said? I know you missed when I was doing all the James Bond stuff too, Shoei. What? Oh. I, um... <laughs> oh, are you... I mean... You all saw that. I wasn't... I... I didn't mean to throw it in her direction, all right? I was just trying to take my clothes off. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> so why didn't all the guards aggro me, Mano? And you know what that means? Son of a bitch. What that means is I did and I didn't save afterwards because I didn't think that I could possibly do something like that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous that they do that. After all that shit. Are you kidding me? That's, that's great. That's really great. That's wonderful. Well done, game. Well done. Clearly, that's what I would want to do. That's what I want to do is clearly what I wanted to do was throw the vest at her so that she would get mad at me. That's obviously what I intended. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe that I have to do this again. I mean, you know what? That, that, that I find annoying. I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Under no theory of logic would I throw a vest at someone and would she being hit by it? She's like, a wool vest? Death! Like, I mean, come on. Really? To 
You drop an item, put it on the red arrow. Okay. Not happy at the moment. Not pleased. Okay, Polar, thanks. And thank you very much for the good the good thoughts. <laughs> she got, she got hit by the wool vest, just like, ow, oh, that's so itchy. Damn it. You hit me th those buttons hurt. Ugh. Kill you. Especially after she sees me save her freaking bank from bank robbers. And she's like, Yeah, but you know really what matters here? What really matters is that you know. That, that you threw a vest at me, so I'm gonna freaking punch you in the face. Like, number one, that she'd be mad at me after being hit by a vest. Number two, that she'd be mad after I saved her effing bank. And number three, that she would think that she could kill me with her fist after she just saw me tear up the joint by wiping out those guys. Really. I mean, really. Oh, God damn it! Alright, you're gonna have to show me that arrow, man, when we go back in there. Unbelievable. Well, you know what, Polar? If the good thoughts meant that my book does get published, uh, you know, by the, the publisher does decide to go ahead with it, um, and I ended up uh, like losing a few minutes in this game. That's a good trade. <laughs> the good thoughts worked in the the good thoughts are working for real life, not for Arcanum. So I will gladly take the trade off. All right, come on, Doc Roberts, let's go here. Go oh, man, it's eight o'clock. Hurry it the hell up. Hey, Gustavo. There he is. Um, yeah, I really love this this high res stuff. All the ambient sound. Okay, here we go. One more time into the breach. This time I'm going to save it before. I'll save it again. I keep forgetting what the hell the quick save is. i got to go find that. Yes, I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Cool polar. Alright, well that went pretty well. That was even better than last time, actually. Alright, now, give me my gun. I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna get this goddamn armor. And then I'm gonna, before I get the armor, I'm gonna save it so I don't accidentally aggro someone by throwing a wool vest at them. Unreal. The nerve of some people. Um. Hey, Gray. Um. That's awesome, Polar. Yeah, I, um. Yeah, I'm feeling. I mean, I feel pretty good about the arc of my career. Um, assuming this, this next step would be a big step. I mean, obviously, you know, you can never. I don't put all my eggs in one basket, but. Um. I've gone pretty far down the road with these guys, so I'm. I'm really hoping that this works out. 
Okay, now, Mana, show me where this arrow is. Yeah, Gray. Oh, that's right. You didn't see this. This is Arcanum. Uh, old game, but, you know, uh, a good old game, as they say. So where's this red arrow, Mano, that you're talking about? The arrow under the hand. Um... See you, Showy. Bye, Polar. Uh, Polar, let me know. If, if you're going to do the PayPal thing, just let me know, okay? How you want to do it? Oh, here. Okay. Well, that's easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank... Well, uh, good. Okay, now, you save it. Jeez. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Polar. Good luck with the... Uh, have fun with French. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's put on the armor that I'm actually going to use first. Okay. Sounds good. And thanks for the interest, man. See you soon. Okay. So there's that. assume that means it's on him somewhere. It's obnoxious. Yeah, I'm not wild about this inventory system. Um, I feel like it's still a little laggy for my taste, and I don't really care for... I mean, I've, I've actually... I've never liked the this sort of method anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't even like it on, um, on uh, Diablo. But, um, you know... Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, Gray, this is a charismatic gunslinger. Um, basically a good-hearted fellow, um, who has, uh, some desire to be a, uh, kind of a spy-type character. <laughs> That's the theory, anyway. Um. See, like that. Like, I don't want to have to, like, throw my gun on the ground so that I can then take this off of him. Like, come on. Yeah, basically, and that's kind of what this game is like, is, uh, steampunk, um, kind of, uh, steampunk meets magic, um, and yeah, he's, uh, he's basically, he's a drifter, the, his background, um, which was given partly by the game, is that, um, he was blind for a long time, and then he had this miraculous recovery from this cure, so he got some detriment to it, but he also got some benefits, and he sort of learned that he needed to kind of, you know, get redemption for what happened to him, so that's kind of the way I'm playing him. Um, which sells for more, Mano? You think the revolver sells for more, or the green jacket? The heavy wool clothes. Yeah, I kind of dig the concept of it. Not a fan of the inventory system, but... Okay, well... I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm not gonna get... Like you said, I don't want to become a pack rat. More of a pack rat. Nose bullets. Let's see. Revolver chamber. I don't need every bit of charcoal, do I? He said no. No, I do not. Okay. All right, good. Good old inventory touches. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, and that's been sort of the issue. Okay. So, now I just want to see if I can make that gun with the parts, because that might save me something, too. Uh, I've got the flintlock pistol, but I don't have the small metal tube. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll go save it. Talk to this bitch. I mean, this bank teller. This kindly bank teller. Before you got here, Gray, you missed uh, the fact that I was trying to get, deal with the inventory, and I accidentally threw the wool vest at the woman, and so she aggroed on me. And she was like, now it's time for me to go, you know... Now she's like, now I'm going to beat the hell out of this guy who just saved my bank because he accidentally threw a wool vest at me. You're a hero. <laughs> I'm here to make a withdrawal. Reach for the sky! That's pretty funny. Oh, I was just passing through. Thank you. I'm really tempted after the what she did to me. I'm really tempted to be like, reach for this guy. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I'm like, why are you going to attack me? Like, first of all, I just saved your bank. Secondly, why are you going to attack someone that you just saw tear up your bank with a bunch of bullets by punching him? Like, why are you going to do that? Yeah. Yeah, well. Okay, let's let's save this. Uh, let's go sell this stuff. Yeah, well, then it would have been embarrassing. Pretty damn... It was It was not very close, let me tell you. I did not have to worry too much about uh, her doing that. Slim, my boy. Wait till you see what I have. Shall we barter? Alright, ah, that's what I'm talking about. 66 coins, yes please. 66 coins, yes please. Pilgrim clothes, 39 coins, yes please. Um, worn shoes, yes please. Flintlock pistol. I mean, you have no need for it. I'll tell you what you don't have need for. I tell you what you have need for. It, though. I may get another one of these. Thinking about it. I know. I know. That's true. Well, you know, compensating, right? I forgot he has more bullets. Hmm. 130... Four coins. Oh, so he's gone down a little bit, unless it was the other guy who was selling bullets for that price, which is possible. Uh, let's see. 30? Let's sell... Oh, no, I can do more than that. What am I saying? 60, 50. Let's do 50. Hey, you know, man, I'm just calling him like I see him. Okay, now, Mano, show me where the... Oh, that, oh, that's... Mano, that's awesome. That's true. Everyone's like, you're awesome. Here, have this for cheaper. Dude, that's great. Cool. Okay, so now, because it didn't even tell me that I got a reputation boost, but I should have realized. Okay, now, um, what's this, this max thing you were talking about? You said there's a max arrow? Or some... I know I can type in numbers, so I'll probably do that. But what else can I do? Oh, shit, son. Okay. I actually don't want max in this case, but... Although I could afford it. No, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to clean them out. Oh. I beg your pardon. I could not add. <laughs> I thought we could maybe come to a bargain. Okay, let's see. Uh, six, 50, right. That's what I was going to do. You said I could type in. Oh, there it is. I had to do it over on the number pad. Okay. Alright, so now I've got 237 bullets. So now I'm feeling much better than I was uh, about my, my bullet situation. I feel like I'm in better shape now than I was. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do before I head over to Kata's stream 
is I'm going to go take care of that priest, because I think that should not take me too long to do. So... I'm still saving it under this because... Earlier I found um, a gnome uh, who supposedly is the brother, the younger brother, of the guy who gave me the ring in the Zeppelin wreck. And I gave it to him, and I'm still not sure that I should have done that. I still think that it may be that that guy was shady. And so that's why I'm saving him under this other option. Okay. Okay, so do I have to do in the town, like, uh, where did you say I have to click on to get to, um, to get to that other map? Yeah, not quite. I have to leave, mm. Okay. And leave the actual town. The question is, where do I go to do that? I mean, because where I entered the town was right here. That's where I started. nothing to loot off those guys. I gotta say, Virgil's awfully convenient as a healer. Ugh. Why is the world map not available? It says world map not available. Unless I have to kill those thieves to get out of town, which is possible. Not available. Alright, well that's fine. That's fine. I just like to leave. So I can take care of the priest. Alright, let's... Let's see what that does. Welcome to the channel, this gun the skunk ape. Really? You do, huh? Oh, so I can't take care of that damn priest.
Uh, it's not true. I can leave. Here it is. This is what I was looking for before. Arbola's house. Okay. Now, the other thing about this, this guy that, um... The thing about this that was a little bit unclear is that, um, to me, is that I'm not 100% sure that the guy who gave me this quest is the guy, I mean, is someone that I should necessarily buy into. I don't know that I believe him. So, I just point out from the very beginning that it's possible that this guy is, is shady. Slim shady, as they say. Locked, huh? <laughs> Headstone is explicitly carved with this message. Jamila, beloved wife and mother. Okay. This one. Safe, beloved son. Oh, man, and I'm fresh out of picks. Gotta wait till day, huh? Alright, well. It's two, so let's wait for... Ten hours. Eight hours. Oh. What? Thanks, guys. Um, how about I actually take the lead the next time? Okay, everyone come this way. Follow me, big drunk ogre guy. Now come back. All right, now you. Why'd you attack me with your wolf? What do you want? Gray, there's actually four patches that I put in that you're supposed to do in order. Mano's right. You're supposed to do the unofficial patch, then the high-res town pack, then the high-res um, maps. I think it was like I think it was like high-res like something pack, then the map pack, and then last was music. So. Yeah, I think it's like five bucks on good old game, so. What is your name, sir? I am Arbala, he winces, and you are? <laughs> I am your executioner. No, I am Arvidelaron. What brings to my humble farm? I have been sent here by Brago's spirit. He's dead already. How sad. Has he sent you to finish what he did not? Sure, no problem, Gray. Already finished what he started? What are you speaking of? I am surprised his path ended so soon after he shattered mine. After I had offered them food and drink, he and his friend, Fakras, I believe his name was, ransacked my house for whatever they could find. When they finally found my one object of any value, a sacred holy artifact, they killed my family. They left me for dead as well. See, I called it. I knew that dude was shady. I knew there was something wrong with it. So you cursed them? I retired from the priesthood some years ago, and it was all I could think to do in my pain and grief. Their souls will never leave this plane of existence. And the curse of madness that caused Farkas to kill Brago? No, I believe that was the curse of greed. If I had to guess, Farkas decided he didn't want to share the ill-gotten gains with anyone. Despicable people. That was a great story, but I need to kill you now. No, I buy that story. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for your kind words, but there's something else. I need to recover the sacred artifact they stole. It is very important to me. I needed to pray to my gods effectively. Did Brago say anything? Give any clues to where it might be? No, he did not. I know it is none of your affair, but could you assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine? Oh god, of course this guy could also be full of it. I don't know, I'm gonna say he's not. Where should I start? Perhaps our friend, the late Mr. Bray, would have some information he could impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. I appreciate your kindness, though I regret I have nothing to give you for your help. I will return. See, so I don't know. I mean, this dude could be like... This dude could be full of it, or the other guy could be full of it. It's a he said, he said. Priest said, ghost said thing. Hey man, I just have one question. 
by giving the ring to that other guy, did I like break the game permanently? If I didn't break the game, I'm going to save this under my regular save games because I don't want to have to keep going along this sort of like alternate path. I guess not with the patches you can. Okay. Alright, in that case I'm going to save it as Greg moving on. Arvin moving on, sorry. Okay. Alright, world map. I'm going to go back to this crash site and I'm going to talk to him and I'm going to find out what the deal is with Brago. We're going to see whether what he has to say for himself. But I thought he was shady when I walked up there. I was like, something does not work for me. I love how the fires are still burning in the Zeppelin. Because it's like days later. That's some powerful fires. Passage. I'm going to save this in case the spirit aggros me, as I think is entirely possible. Alright, priest. I mean, spirit. friend that killed you. So you spoke with Arbala instead of killing him. Bravo, my friend. I applaud you. Tell me where Farkas is, you punk. Okay, man. Why should I tell you that? I'll still be here for eternity. Ooh. Revenge on the killer. I convinced Arbala to release you if you help me. I'm gonna say revenge. Why would I care? I would have done the same to him if he had not been faster. You know what? Screw off, man. I'm a charismatic gunslinger. I'm not a freaking paladin. If there's one thing about you noble types, it's that you'll do the right thing even if it kills you. Very well. They think to be released from this pain. Farkas is here. Oh, I am so tempted to say thank you. By the way, I lied. You still get to rot here forever. So tempted. I think I'm going to do that. Agno cannot be the pain. Please, I will haunt you. I will curse your loved ones. Please, release me. I want to make certain you were still paying for your crimes. <laughs> nice. That's what happens when you wrongfully kill someone. So, Alright, let's take a look at that map and see where Farkas is. Okay. Let's head down this way. Yeah, my deal is, the guy... I mean, when someone kills someone's family... Not just because I have a family myself, but because, you know... You just don't do that, man. Okay, hold on, that's X-Split. Give me one second. Better? Is it all better and recovered? I hope.
better? Is the audio audio back to normal? Okay. Yeah, that's that's an exploit thing I have to work on. Kata had that problem too. Kata Bass has had that problem as well. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so not only do I not like people who kill other people's families, um, I'm also not a fan of a guy who lies to me so that I can go get revenge on this dude. Like, you know, if the guy had said, I screwed up, I did terrible things, please release me, I might have thought about it. But then when the guy lied to me, I'm like, you know what, dude, screw off. Okay. Simon Farkas's shack. Here we go. Farkas Shack. Baby Farkas Shack. Alright. Hello. Human bandit that I'm about to take out. Okay. All right, sir, explain yourself. I'd rather not talk to you. I must not have heard you correctly. I, uh, I must have didn't know that I mistook you for someone else, I'm afraid. Please forgive me. I've come to retrieve... Oh, this is interesting. So either warn him of a curse or retrieve what you've stolen. No, I'm retrieving what you've stolen, you bastard. Don't have any idea of what you're speaking of. It must be extremely valuable to be worth an eternal curse. What curse? Arbala cursed you and Brago, sir. Your spirit is trapped here. That damn priest? Must be what I heard is running from the cave, Brago's ghost. Give me the artifact and I won't kill you. Leave you alone. Alright, guess what then? Lied about the whole lifting the curse matter. Listen closely, imbecile. The curse will not be lifted. I lied. Why is this... <laughs> you are dead. Yes. Oh, and you're cursed to be trapped here forever. Hm. Rustic finery. Eh, I don't care about your rustic finery. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a little harsh? Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. I should have just waited until someone else killed him. I don't know whether it goes with my guy, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to redo that. I think I think what I want to do... I, th I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I think what I'm just going to do is I am going to tell him that I lied. I'm going to wait and have him live the rest of his life being upset. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't ha but I'm not him. I'm going to redo that. I'm not murderer. So I'm going to basically have the same conversation, except this time, at the end of it, I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to say, guess what, clown? Under a tree, which you've stolen, cursed you, I'll remove the curse, and I lied. I lied. Come on, come on, leave him behind. Just leave him alone. I am, however, going to talk to him. Get out of my sight. Really? Yep. Well, you can hate my kind. Hey, Nedwin, what's up? Alright, so this is the item, huh? Arbala's sacred artifact. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to Arbala. Actually, first I'm going to go into the shack. And I'm going to sort of basically take this out. Yeah, I know. That's fine. I hate him, so the feeling's mutual. He can live with his hatred the rest of his life. I'd rather have him live with the suffering that when he dies, he's not going to be at peace. That, I think, fits my character better. Wow. It really is just a shack. 
Hope it was worth it, clown. Alright. Back to the Shrouded Hills. Give me my ways back. What? Oh. Oh, now you're attacking me? Okay, now ball bets are off. Now I do want to kill you. Now you pissed me off. You freaking attack my ass? No. That, that will not stand. Now I feel good, because now you gave me a reason to kill you. You're a curse to be trapped here forever. Yeah. Now I feel... Very pleased. Also, I'm doing this so I can leave your body naked on the ground. I can't believe you aggroed me. What a bastard. I'm glad, yo. Gave me, gave me a reason to do what I need to do. Scumbag. Alright. Now, you're, you're right. I had screwed up anyway. I was supposed to be going to Arbalist's house. That's what I meant to do. What a moron. He's like, you know what? I'm so angry at you, I'm going to actually attack. Oh. Guess who has to wait until daytime? Alright. Let's save that underneath this. Five fifty-four. Let's wait three hours. Well, four hours is fine. All right, Arbola. I have retrieved your artifact. I thank you as do the spirits of my ancestors. I must admit to having lied to you before as well. What? Oh, good. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, man. I'll. I'll keep that in mind next time. I do have something to give you, something of measurable value. I bestow my blessing upon you. Everyone you meet will now react more favorably to you than perhaps they did in the past. Many thanks. Wow, that's awesome. And I went up a level. Oh, what to do, what to do. Yeah, I need to go up another perception. Firearms or persuasion. I'm going to do one more persuasion. And then next I'm going to add a couple to perception and I'll go back into firearms, I think is what I'll do. Although I'm considering the next time I may actually do something where I can build a fine revolver. We'll see. Okay. So I wonder who this dude actually is. If he lied to me before. Thank you for turning my most holiest to possession. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Mano. I didn't know that. So where is it going to? Where does it show that I have this um, new amiable or whatever, like new higher level disposition? Like where do I see that? Blessings, blessings. See, I'm heading more towards good. I'm pretty sure is what that means. Um, in the journal, okay. Because of your heroic efforts in helping Doc Roberts stop the bank robbery, the people of Shrouded Hills are definitely friendlier to you than they once were. For returning Arbala's sacred artifact, you may be given his blessing. Yeah, but, like, what? There's no way to... It doesn't quantify it, though. It just says you have a blessing. You know? I mean, that's fine. If That's fine if it's more abstract. Yeah, assuming I can remember what I had before, what my old stats were. I would assume it was my charisma. Went up a little bit or something. Because it's charisma or, I guess, some um, beauty might have gone up a little bit or something. Um, but I would assume charisma. Anyway. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, good. Go ahead, Miss Good. 
Okay. Really? I feel like I ought to be giving... Okay. It's a little odd. I, if it were me, I would have made it give me charisma. Like, because, I oh man, I am charismatic. But, you know, I've always wanted to be more beautiful. Because in real life, that's never been a problem. You see... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am sorry for Jamila, beloved wife and mother, and for safe, beloved son. May your souls rest in peace. Yeah, okay. I guess. All right. Now back to the town. And um, I guess I have the mine to deal with before I actually take care of the thieves. But I think um, that this is going to be a good wrap-up spot for the moment. I may play a little bit after Cat has stopped streaming, depending on when that is. But I have a little work to get done, and I'm going to go over to his. Uh, going to go over to his stream for a little bit. Um, thank you guys so much for popping in. I'm glad that I'm able to now play the game a lot more and do a lot less optimizing now that I've managed to do it. And Mano, especially thanks to you, man. Man. <laughs> man, oh man. Um, because you really gave me a hand with a lot of stuff here, so I appreciate the, uh, suggestions about some of the technical stuff. Um, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. People feeling good about the, uh, feeling good about the story? Yeah, Neto, and I may do it again, but it's just I have work that I have to get done too. This is really my finals period, um, my exams that I have to grade and so forth. And so I was just popping on for a little while to kind of do a couple of test streams and stuff before Catabasa started streaming. So, um, uh, yeah, but I, I promise I will do more, you know, when, uh, when my semester is over. And hopefully even more later this week. It's just I have a little work I have to do now. Um, thanks a lot, Gray. I appreciate it. And, um, and uh, thank you all. Thank you guys all very much. I really appreciate it. Let me save this. Shattered Hills, which is actually should be Shrouded Hills. Uh, hey man, is there a way to rename a save, by the way? Before everyone, before you leave? See you, Neto, and see you, Shoei. I'll see you guys over at Cata's stream, or the next time I'm on, I'll see you guys then. Um, and Gray, of course. Okay, well, it's not important. I'll take care of it later. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to head over to Cata's stream. I'll see you guys soon. And um, thank you all so much, as always, for checking. Please make sure you follow. Um, and, uh, make sure you follow and, uh, tell friends and all that. I would appreciate that very much, and I'll see you folks, uh, soon. Have a good night.